welcome to Athlete of the Week. This week we have Lauren Capello, a junior on the women's softball team here at SUNY New Ponce. Thank you for being here today. So how long have you been playing? Um, I've been playing softball since I was 12. Okay, what made you start? Um, I started in Little League and my dad was actually the coach for our all-star team and I was absolutely horrible. Mm -hmm. And I just kept going with it and learning from the older girls. I just it just stuck with me and I really, really hated running. <laughs> nice. <laughs> me too. Um, so do you have any lucky ritual or a charm before you um, start any game? Um, mostly for away games, I have a certain set of songs I have to listen to, but for home games and like as a team, we do um, the same thing basically before every game mm -hmm. and we kind of have like a huddle where we do a chant and to kind of get us all like pumped up and that's kind of what I would consider our like, game day ritual. Nice. What kind of music do you listen to? Um, I mix it up a lot. I really like country, okay. but um, I can really listen to anything. Okay, cool. Same. <laughs> um, so what is your favorite thing about softball? I think my favorite thing, especially since coming to New Paltz, has been playing on a team, mm -hmm. and especially this team, because it, they have become my best friends here. Yeah. And they're just such a great group of girls, and my coach is great, and I think my favorite part of it is knowing that I'm a part of something, mm -hmm. and that's like really awesome to know. Nice. What is a fun thing about yourself? Um, well, I don't know how to ride a bike, Okay. which is something that most people are like, wait, but like you're an athlete and you don't know how to ride a bike. Yeah, I don't really have any coordination outside of softball. Okay, that's fine. So, my that's like something that I always share with people and they're like eh, that's kind of weird it's okay maybe one day you'll learn <laughs> no <laughs> um how has it been managing school and being a college athlete um it gets hard at times especially with this season we've had a lot of cancellations and been traveling mm -hmm. um an unnecessary amount so I've missed a lot of classes and it's really hard to stay on top of it but our coach is really good about making sure that we do mm -hmm. and my professors have been awesome with it, like really understanding. So my grades definitely slipped a little bit in season, but okay. Okay. we still have to maintain a certain GPA to mm -hmm. be eligible to play. Okay. And our coach has a very high expectation for us. So like that's motivation to keep good grades. That's good. Um, so even with the cancellations, how has your season been so far? Um, we've been doing well. It started off a little rough with our um, preseason trip to Florida. Mm -hmm. um, but right now we've been doing like really well in conference play and we're still working out a few little kinks, but I think we've definitely figured it out and we're going to, we have games today and I know we're going to do really well. Nice. Good luck with those. Thanks. <laughs> How do you feel about being athlete of the week? Um, I was very surprised. <laughs> um, it makes, I was happy cause like that's kind of, it's a really nice thing to be acknowledged for. Mm -hmm. But, um, I think the thing that like makes me the happiest is that like, my team was supporting me through it. Like, there's no like, oh, like, she didn't deserve it. Like, mm -hmm. it's very much like a supporting environment, and like, it's kind of like cool to be recognized for that. Nice. Well, good luck today Thanks. on your games. For more information on Athlete of the Week and the rest of the athletic department, please visit mphawks.com. I'm Victoria O'Connor for MPC TV.